Excuse me? Welcome back to RimWorld, where apparently a colonist named Lamario, which, oh my god, the guy that we accepted yesterday, the Wanderer that appeared, was an enemy agent? And he's just in our base now. <laughs> With a handgun? Oh, okay. Um, well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? I guess we'll I guess we'll go ahead and put him down while he sleeps, huh? Could we just turn that into prisoner bed and just be done with it? Excellent! That does the job, thank you. Let's go and disarm him and then we'll lock him up there. Don't you light fire to the walls? Wandering? He's just wandering right now. Um, should we send strong arm in with the katana? I think that's probably extremely on brand for this playthrough. So I've, I've seen your feedback about the anime, the, the, the anima tree. Sorry, slip of the tongue there, all things considered. Um, that... I have made some adjustments to you. See you in a second. Anyway, let's go ahead and cut this guy to pieces. Don't kill him, for fuck's sake. Okay, we're fine. He's got a little bit of malnutrition there. Capture him. You will join us one way or another, my friend. And then, of course, we've got prison labor. So now he's being watched. He is uh, a little bit more a little bit more cooperative. Let's go ahead and haul that auto pistol out of there as well. Does he need tending? Oh, what's wrong with brains? Hiding in room. Bollocks. Now's not the time for that. Have we got a secondary backup surgeon? We do. Fingers, my friend. Uh, no, fingers, at comma, my friend. Uh, go ahead and... Tend to that guy. We'll get you to get the gun out of there. Is he going to be fine? Bleeding out seven hours. Yeah, he's good. So, yesterday then, we accidentally chopped down the anime tree. Um, because I thought we could harvest some tasty psychic fruit. Turns out that wasn't quite the case. So, I, I've replanted it, but I also removed the mod that lets plant it in the first place. Because it is a horribly OP mod. So, we're still affected by all the base game stuff. You can see there, it's still affected by wind turbine power conduits, whatever else. Um, I assumed... And apparently wrongly, that you wouldn't be able to meditate around a tree that's only 8% grown. Uh, but someone in the comments said that we can, which to me makes no fucking sense at all. But there we go. All hail the holy sapling, I guess, with its mighty power, even though we've just put it in the ground. Where is meditation, Misk? There it is. Um, yep, you can definitely meditate around that. That's so strange. That's so strange that a new tree will pop up and you'd immediately be, okay, well, I guess we'll move the friggin' wind turbine then. Doesn't matter too much, seeing as we got all those resources for free from the, uh from the insect pods anyway so i'm more than happy just to get that move somewhere else we'll put down some growing zones around that instead oh it's a bit of a shame but hey i, I thought we'd at least have that set up bear in mind it's going to take another season at least what is it like 25 days yeah 25 days growing time even though that apparently doesn't make a difference so i guess that's why you can't grow them in hindsight why are you idle process mining compacted steel why are you idle then wandering no 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 there's quite literally something right there for you. i don't understand uh, fingers, what the hell are you doing as well? Bringing water, okay. And then you should start mining? No, wandering still. Why? They've clearly got jobs available. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. What the hell's going on there then? Let's check the schedule quickly. Uh, right, what are you talking about? It is 10 o'clock. They can quite clearly access the... They're not, they're not, I haven't set them into a certain area. No, they're definitely not stuck in a certain area. I don't know why they won't automatically go over and mine then. They quite clearly got points in mining. And now he stopped. What? I'm so confused. Uh, Okay, you know what? Don't worry about it. I'll just manually dish out some jobs for a while. Anyway, I've taken apart all the other buildings there. So he should be... Oh, what is affecting it? Oh, the doormats are affecting it, really? Yep, plain leather doormat. Oh, that sucks. Okay, we will have to put someone in. Some people even commented yesterday saying that some people do put doormats on the inside of their house. So I guess it's not so such a big deal. It's kind of affecting... Uh, expecting those not to affect it too much, but never mind, I guess. Are we good now? Yeah, there we go. So all of this area, the reason I've gone for an area so large as well, is because, of course, we have the uh, resource plants mod again, which actually turned out to be pretty balanced the last time. Uh, even with all of the crazy bonuses we were giving it, sprinklers and whatever else, that ended up being pretty decent. So with the larger growing zone, we could we could grow a whole bunch of... Uh, a whole bunch of extra stuff in that regard. Now, obviously, we can't put down the sprinklers, the sun lamps, whatever, in this zone, because they'll affect the, the anima tree again. I have no... What are you doing now, then? Drink water from wood basin. I want to keep an eye on these guys. Yeah, look. No jobs. What? Hang on. I must be... I must have done something wrong here. Let me just double check everything. Oh, and Brains especially should have a job. Bearing in mind that he's got the research bench. I even queued up uh, heating so that they could have some nice warm baths. And then I figured we could start going into war crimes a little bit. Because I know a lot of people are very impatient to get to war crimes. So I've started with basic autopsy. Because as many of you have pointed out, if we start operating on immortals... We could get a load of spare organs before decapitating them. Then we decapitate them, and give the power to uh, give the power to fingers. But I'm not entirely sure what the hell's going on with their jobs. I it's almost like I've restricted them to a particular area. But 
Obviously, I haven't. We may also have to butcher some anime princesses. Uh, as many of you have pointed out in the comments as well, uh, they are adding a crazy amount of colony wealth to to the base. Um, I mean, th their, their wealth alone is quite high. 1,500 gold right there. And especially those that also spawn in extra stuff. Apparently, this one grows wool, so obviously it produces some other... Some other side, uh, some other side resource. Oh, we got some compost starters again. Shall I, shall I kill some off? Because we can't really defend the base right now with, with this. Okay, let's kill the rhinos. That, that's an easy one, I think. Cannot make simple meal. It says need material. Oh, is it because you're going to get some? Hang on. Uh, need material. I mean, there's 175 raw meat right there. And a better one, I've also got single simple meals on too. Um... I'll be honest, I don't know why that is. I, I genuinely have no idea why we... Oh, are you also... I'm thinking maybe someone else has it reserved, but I don't believe that's the case. Unless it's this damn animal doing it. Hang on. Right, we might have to keep the animals out of the freezer. How about now? There we go. Right, so the animals are reserving the meat. What I think we should probably do then, because we're not getting any meals created, because the animals are constantly reserving the meat to eat, I think we're going to have to limit the animals to an area that doesn't include human food otherwise that's going to get out of hand very quickly uh let's go ahead very 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 briefly and say what do you think animals allowed in area one and then we'll obviously redo the whole of area one um we'll say man do i even want to let them out into the fields we'll let them go anywhere but the fields how about that uh, and obviously our freezer too maybe we'll let them inside the living quarters bear in mind that the nozzle chance from some of these animals is is pretty significant so We'll let those guys have a bit more room around here. Um, not up to the prison, though, preferably. But then outside of that, I think we'll give them a bit of an area to roam in. There we are. Resocialization offer. What does that mean? Like, he wants to rejoin the colony. Uh, I I can only assume so. What does that mean? Uh, Resocial... Oh, ready to join the colony. Oh, there's actually a recruit button. Oh, cool. And then he just comes back to us. Fair enough, right. He's realized his uh, he's realized his mistake and he's agreed to rejoin us. That's what I was hoping for, really. So what I'm thinking is then, rather than keep building this into one big superstructure, we'll start putting down outdoor streets, as we talked about. Um, maybe we could have some buildings, if we do decide to build the super wall right around the edge of the base, we could have some buildings back right to, up to that and have sort of a main road between all of them. We want to build a prison next. So that could be... Maybe when they've quarried some blocks, we could uh, build sort of a, a smaller wall, rather than obviously trying to build one around the entire base. We could build a smaller one, maybe connecting up to the mountain, and maybe connecting up to this river, so that enemies obviously can't get through. Start putting some buildings down here. I was thinking something a little like that. So we've still got the natural defenses. There's still no, no kill box, inverted commas. We could go for some... Uh, we could go for some turrets externally... As a way to corral enemies. I mean, that's not exactly a kill box, but but help, but enemies will always avoid turrets, don't forget. So we could use that to our advantage to to push enemies around a certain area. We're, we're not quite at that stage yet, but I'm, I'm just sort of thinking of plans for the future of our defenses. Because if this base ends up being pretty massive, we're going to need to maybe... What the... Thanks for the blessing of the unknown. Your crop has gained a lot of vitality. Demeter's blessing. Uh, what crop? Oh, oh my god. You see that everything just grew instantly. Uh, no, it didn't grow instantly. It grew by a massive amount. The anima trees up to thirty six percent now. Wow. Um, I don't know what the hell caused that, but that was pretty cool. Yeah, these things we only grew. You see that they just all popped up then. These things we only grew a couple of days ago, and now all of a sudden they've just popped up. Nice basic autopsy. There we are. That's what we want to see. We want to capture an immortal. I think we need to make like a science lab, lock them up there, and see what we can really do with them. See if the autopsy is a viable way to. See if the autopsy is a viable way to gain a bunch of free organs. I don't know to what extent they might... Like, there's got to be some sort of balance to prevent immortals just coming back over and over and over. And obviously it takes them a little bit of time to regrow really their limbs. Maybe they have to... That's the most cursed thing I've ever seen. Oh god, it's in the corner facing away. They made the bunny girl watch. <laughs> oh sorry, the sheep girl. Oh, that's cursed. Um. Wow. Okay, sorry, what was I talking about? Right, war crimes. Um, we probably want a lab or something, and then I imagine there's got to be a cost to it. We, we've probably got to feed them, or... You're not just going to get free organs from an immortal, right? I guess we could test it on fingers if we really felt like it. Now that we've got some fun little war crimes in, why don't we also throw in some useful stuff? So what? what's kind of the next level? Um, 
Maybe resources wouldn't hurt, but we don't really have the hands on deck to make advantage of that. Like, we've already got probably way too much food again. Uh, I'm thinking, what are those? Those are cool. Protective helmet and protective gear. Wow. I'm thinking we just go down the regular route. So start heading to, what do you think, like multi-analyzer next probably couldn't hurt? Multi-analyzer. There we are. Uh, what do we need for that? Oh, of course we need a powered research bench. So we've got wind turbines. We could go for something more simple like solar panels. Um, how are we doing for steel? 754 steel. We've got 20 components as well. We could go for some solar panels to ensure a bit more of a consistent... A consistent degree of power coming in before we commit to something like that. I want to get rid of all the all the campfires too, because I've noticed that the temperature in the base is like in certain rooms up to 31 degrees. Before I forget as well, and I will pin this as a top comment on this episode, I've noticed a lot more dislikes on recent Rimworld episodes. I don't know whether that's because of the the series theme, my play style, because maybe the series itself has gotten a bit old and stale. Either way, I'm gonna put a vote in the comment of this episode. To potentially vote out Rimworld and replace it with something else on the channel. We've had it obviously going for a very, very long time. We've done a lot of different series. Might just be getting old and stale. I have no idea because unfortunately dislikes don't tell me shit by themselves. And I've been looking through the comments to see if anyone actually had any explanation why. And there's been no feedback. So I'll put up a poll and that'll be kind of a bit more of a, a symbol of whether or not we want to keep Rimworld around for future series. Or whether we want to kind of uh, maybe let it go on break for a few months or something like that. Either way, I'll, I'll leave it entirely in your hands. So next up, let's go for... Geothermal power. Hey, that's a point. Have we got any geothermal generators now that we can take advantage of? Uh, we have one there. I'd have to expand the wall out a little bit more. And there's another one all the way over there. Man, is there only two on the entire map? That would suck. Um, let me just see if I can double click that like that. Yeah, two on the entire map. Damn it, that's a bit restrictive. I think I will go solar panels then. I think I'll go solar panels. And then after that, we'll get some more resources to build the electronic research bench. We'll start replacing the uh, the campfires with lights as well. Seeing as that's what they're there for. What I should really do before anything, anything else. Now that we've got this massive crop just turn up quite literally overnight. I was hoping we'd have a little bit more time before I had to resort to this. We'll go ahead and run a power conduit up to a cooler. We'll close that for now. But in the winter, it, it, I mean or a cold snap or whatever happens we can reopen that vent we'll, we'll keep it there it's just kind of an emergency thing you never know when we might have a solar flare at the same time as a cold snap bear in mind some of the crazy crap we've already had happen in this series oh man is he up on his feet yet he is thank god for that okay uh he bought his own gun which was quite nice did he he must have started with that gun and can you also equip this one because this one is semi-automatic you can equip that i thought oh my god <laughs> um that is an Oni. Oh, they're all Oni. And again, they've turned up those bloody chain swords. They've turned up with their own... Oh my god, they're actually riding them into battle. That is the greatest thing I've ever seen, even though there's no way in hell we can beat this. Um, they've all got they've all got plate armor there as well. So this storyteller... Oh my god, it's alpha poly plate armor. So this storyteller, I've had a lot of people report issues with it. Uh, they've turned up with armor that has 145,000 hit points. What does that mean? That means we're not going to be able to kill that person. That person's got it. That person's got it. That person's got it. This is fucked. We're going to switch Storyteller. I mean, a lot of people have complained that this one is extremely broken. This does till dawn one. I've read it on the Steam forums as well, but this is just feedback I'm going to get from people in Discord and even the comment section on YouTube. I think we'll try something else because this is obtuse. This is absolutely ridiculous. We'll go for Cassandra or Randy. I mean, this is a bit of a random series anyway. I suppose we could go Randy on... We'll stay Randy on the one below Merciless, whatever that used to be. And then if the next raid is very, very easy, we'll flip it back up to Merciless. Because I would feel bad going down to Merciless with a default storyteller, only for it to be too easy. But this is not... This is unwinnable. It's like it's not taking into account the new gear. They've turned up with armor that's worth 21,000. And like I said, there's one, two, three, four of them. And what the hell are you wearing there as well? Copper plate armor? This is just ridiculous. And again, the, the, the laser chainsaw as well. I'm not entirely sure what that's supposed to be. Aha, that's a bit more of a raid to our size. I'm pretty sure there were... Okay, so there were two groups, but this one's a much, much smaller group. That's a bit more manageable for this day of the game, rather than people turning up with armor that has more hit points than anything we've seen in any other series, Sharamus included. Okay, let's squad up then, squad. Uh, Where are they going to head to? They're going to try and path around there. And what about you guys? So let's take out this, this squad of three first. Then we can focus all on one angle. And if they're going up around the pond too, it's going to take them a very, very long time to get down here. So let's rush as fast as we can. Use the range that we've got on our side. I assume they're only using... Right, it's tribal. So they're using stones, knives, and bows. So as long as we keep our distance here... Are you still using your katana? No, you're good. Okay. 
Right. Hopefully we can take these three out. There's one down already. Now, some of you pointed out in the comment section as well yesterday that immortals don't always say it immediately on their health tab. And in fact, well, it'll only say it after they've resurrected once before. So we need to keep a very close eye on some of these enemies that we're gunning down here and leaving to bleed out just in case they do end up getting back up. So, I mean, one person even said you should try beheading everybody you kill. We might want to do that. But as we saw yesterday, when they die, they do take a while before they get back up again. So if we see the one that's down, we could immediately haul it into prison. Then we could have ourselves potentially a free immortal as part of our colony. Or an easy to recruit immortal, I should say. Um, let's move back a little bit further. And let's get a line somewhat like that, I think, instead. There we go. Okay. We've got range on them either way, right? Yeah, there we go. So they should still acquire us from that distance rather than attacking our stuff. Okay, strong arm. Your weapon is just garbage. Let's move you a bit closer. Maybe up behind one of these trees. In fact, you could kill him dead if you don't mind. Okay, there's one down. There's two down. Move back, move back. Okay, like, get some other shots in there. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Okay. Nice. Good work. Now we need to get over here and stop them. Don't you dare. My wind pump. It's not as if we would be too desperate for... No! The anime girl! Oh, well, if we lose them, it's not going to be a big deal, is it? Oh, no. My colony wealth has gone down massively. What a shocker. Get your sword out. You're on him. Okay. This is fine. She actually stunned him. Bear in mind, you can't stun from range unless you've got a weapon that specifically does so. Wow. Dealt with. Hey, that was a lot more manageable, but it was still... It was still a raid where we were, in theory, massively outnumbered. Okay. It's a good job that was also the uh, tribal raid and not... And not anyone else. Like, in brackets, the fucking commandos who are absurd. Okay, come on, Mosquito. Down you go, my friend. So what we'll do then is we'll check for... Oh, man, she's getting shot a bit. Wow, you got some good shooting there. Right, let's get you out of there. Um, let's check first and foremost that... Oh, the base is on fire. The base is on fire. Let's check whether or not any of them are immortals. And then... We should really set up an area. I guess we could build like some, uh, we could build like a, a, a body dumping shed out here. That way, if they aren't immortals, they'll rot faster. And if they are immortals, they're going to be locked away so they can't cause any damage. Uh, I can't see any. This could be pretty good. Uh, implanted steel spikes. Whoa. Pain plus 15%. Oh, what does that do then? Steel spikes, war crimes. Oh. It just makes them what? Oh, so you've got steel spikes sticking into them. Wow, that's fucked up. They get bonus pain and they lose part efficiency. I suppose it could be good, though, if you've got, like, a masochist, for example. Which, in hindsight, I'm pretty sure we do, don't we? You can install those on him and it would give a permanent pain, so it would give a mood boost. That's a big brain play. We have, uh, do we have autopsies, but of course we don't have, um, we don't have, I, d I believe, the ability to remove implants. I'm not sure how that would work. Hang on. Um... Let's stick him in. Let's say this is a hospital bed for prisoners. You capture you. What do you mean? Excuse me. For prisoners. Thank you. You capture him. Uh, and I'll quickly go and make sure we haven't got any other immortals before I finish the rest off. Seems like we're good here. Yeah. Okay. So we'll set up a little shed then and haul the rest of the corpses over here. That way, if they want to escape, we'll see them knocking the door now. At least in theory, we should be able to. Um, oh, we can't build anywhere over here. Shit. We can't build a water at all now? I mean, I thought they'd at least put down a bridge first. Oh, it's because we don't have the uh, the concrete bridges. Right, I see. Okay, fair enough then. We could always haul them just into here. We could build a corpse shed at like the back of the base in this zone. That way, if they were to get back up again... You know what? For the next couple of days then, before we've actually got something like that in place, I'll keep a close eye on the corpse pond. Then if anybody gets up in through, we should be able to catch him. And as we saw yesterday, that immortal was flailing around even though they were at full health. So it must take them quite a long time before they actually get back up and... Uh, are, are capable of walking away. Move steel spikes from torso. That's what I wanted. Okay. I, I figured we might as well capture him and then uh, then operate on him. Is there anyone we, we want to capture? Great memory foreman. What does foreman do? Construction plus five. Construction speed 100. Oh, 33% faster. That's pretty good. Success chance bonus 10%. Okay, you're not too bad at all. Underground and tough. Whoa. You've got some good stats across the board. Okay, I could be tempted to also capture and recruit you. Let's put down just as many sleeping spots and recruit, try and grab as many people as possible. Fuck it, let's capture them all. I'm going to stop being picky. There was a comment, to be fair, that said that yesterday as well. Like, don't worry about what they're actually good at. We can find jobs for all of them, realistically, even if it is just planting more crops. I, it might help with... It might affect colony wealth. Oh, we actually did smash it, you prick. Uh, it might affect colony wealth, sure. But at the end of the day, it's more bodies to put down on the front line. Oh, you fool. 
I hope we've got enough to... Yeah, we've got more than enough wood to rebuild that. Okay, there we are. So it wasn't too difficult to recover from that. We've got the wind turbine back on there. We do need to restore this. Ah, oh, we might as well. Can we build a smaller refrigerator? I'd rather take this one apart. Sure, we'll lose a couple of components doing that. Oh, we can't even build them yet anyway. Uh, but it would take up less space in the room. And obviously, we don't really need a four-meal refrigerator right now. Unfortunately, now we've got so many prisoners. I'm going to have to provide them fresh water because... As, as many war crimes as we have here, I do want to keep them alive. As much as I'd love to not have to worry about that. So let's go ahead and run a cable over to that one. A cable? Let's go run some pipes over to that one. We'll get Horn to work on that straight away. Then we'll open all this area up. Now, bear in mind, we do have prison labor. I could, and to be honest, what I want to do is build a prison base over by this quarry instead. So that way, if we got... Uh, if we manage to end up with an excess prison like we've got now, they could at least do some work. Uh, I think we have to manually set it up, though, don't we? Yeah, forced to work. Oh, it's, it's by default. Cool. And we managed to capture four of them. Four of them out of what? Like a nine-man raid? That's not too terrible. Right, I'm thinking a little bit of a kitchen expansion now, then, rather than just cooking off a campfire. We're a little bit past that now. We're a little bit more civilized. So let's go ahead and stick down an electric stove as soon as possible. Um, I might keep the butcher table in the freezer. Sure, they work a little bit slower, but it saves on the... Uh... Oh, we can get an electric butcher's table, right? Yeah, we can. So, again, they, they work a little bit slower, but it doesn't really matter too much because we're keeping all of the filth in, in one room. And, again, we're not going to have too many animals to butcher at once. I'm not going to set too many hunting jobs, especially when they're all unarmored with kind of shit weapons. There we go. Good as new. Okay, and then we'll go butcher creature, do forever. And then I should probably set that within an ingredients radius. So, any animals that we hunt will be hauled back here, and then we'll only butcher animals within this zone. Um, and then we'll... Can we copy the jobs over from this one? I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to copy from a campfire to it. Oh, no, we're good. Oh, it's the other way around you can't do, isn't it? Because, of course, there are jobs on a campfire that won't be uh, that, that won't be available on a stove. And I think the first room to receive some light should definitely be in here. And, you know, we'll put one in there as well. They've already got enough of a work speed loss in there. I'll go ahead and put one down in each bedroom as well so that we can remove the campfires and stop them sleeping in 34 degree heat. Oh, yeah, that's something. Uh, unfortunately, it's still 31 degrees outdoors. So we've got the air conditioning mod. And, and to be honest, I've always put off using it. I feel like now is the time I really need to learn it, huh? So an air cooling machine that fits into a wall exhausts cool air without forcing warm air into another room. Oh, right. Okay. So that side just remains neutral. Oh, cool. That's actually really good. I can see why it's way more expensive if that's the case. But on the plus side, it means that we could hook one up to each bedroom and not have to worry about putting vents everywhere and venting all out of a central point. Especially if the center base remains neutral. Now, it is 180 steel and six components, so it's quite hefty. We could put it... So we've got a couple of choices here. We could dedicate one to each bedroom and then vent it through into, like, bathrooms, recreation room, whatever else. Or we put a main one in, say, the recreation room and vent that through into the bedrooms. That, I think, would make a little more sense. So we'll go ahead and put one... Although we would, why not, would we not put it on the inside of the base, huh? Exhausting cool air without forcing warm air into another room. We might as well just put it in here. That way it's also not vulnerable to raiders. And we just vent the air out into everywhere else. What sort of power usage are we looking at? 220 watts. Yeah, that, that I guess is kind of the downside to it. A regular cooler. A regular cooler is only 200 watts, though. So it's, it's really the resource cost to, to pay up front. So let's go ahead and get a couple of vents down then into all of these adjacent rooms. We'll put one there. We'll put one into that bedroom, that bedroom. Uh, we'll put one there and put one there. That should allow us to save a little bit on our... Yeah, because the bedrooms, even after taking the campfires away, are still 29, 30, 30, 29. We do need this down as soon as possible. I'm going to wake Horn up just to get that done as soon. Oh, that's dropped straight away. We're right down to 23 already. Holy shit, that thing's so good. Wow, it's insanely good. Uh, now, the, here's the issue with running it, though. The wind turbine is completely shut down. Oh, no, a mad donkey. Uh, it's completely shut down, so we're going to need some backup power. Now, given this is any man-made thing, might as well treat this entire central area as off-limits, right? I was going to say a solar panel would be able to go under it, but unfortunately, it's not quite the case. Uh, what the hell is going on here? This is, this is chaos. Okay, um... Let's do something about this very quickly. I, I will build a more permanent prison down towards the quarry. Realistically, I should have put the quarry somewhere up here to allow them to work there. Uh, and let's remove that outside door as well, if you don't mind. Let's go ahead and put a doormat in front of the prison too. Don't know if this will work, but I'll give it a go. If we put a stall door there, does that count? <laughs> we'll see if that works. I very much doubt it. Well, I suppose, it, I mean, maybe it will. I don't see why not. Okay, fine. Do they also get upset if they're if they're in the bath and other people can see them? Because if that's the case, we... I could have just left the walls in, in hindsight. And just built a store door on the entrance. 
could just do that. There you go, problem solved. And we can really fill out the kitchen with a bunch of other crap, huh? Let's put down a wooden cupboard. We'll put a kitchen sink down. Uh, cooking tools? How many of those can connect up to it? It's probably not the best use of the steel, I would admit, but we might as well min-max the jobs that we've got, the jobs that are actually essential for the amount of people we've got. Um, excuse me, I want to check the information on that. Uh, he's been placed near cooking tops. I assume that means stove. We'll boost the cook speed of all tables nearby. I assume only one of them works as well, so we'll put one down there. Oh, that looks... That's, what a hideous order. Hang on, hang on. Let's... Let's go ahead and reorganize this a little. Right, there we are. I had to turn that around. Otherwise, we, for whatever reason, you can't seem to mount these. Maybe the wall light was getting in the way. Uh, yeah, you can't mount those in the same method you can like that um, without it sticking right out of the wall block. So I've had to put that on the top wall instead. But this is going to give us potentially a massive amount of cooking boost. I suppose this is one of the downsides to having so many different furniture mods right now. Oh, damn. Can we, we can cook lavish meals already? Whoa. Okay, this kitchen, in hindsight, might be a game changer. Might keep everyone pretty happy. We've got to make sure the prisoners aren't getting lavish meals, though. Uh, food? Absolutely not. Get out of here with that shit. Is there a way to set a default prisoner meal setup? I really have no idea. I think you have to do it person by person, don't you? Well, there we go. That should solve that. And then I think I've already adjusted it, but I will double check here so that lavish does not include raw animals. No, it does not. No corpses in lavish food. We've got very different definitions of apparently what lavish means. I think we can safely say none of the people we killed were immortals, uh, judging by... Judging by the sad look in their anime eyes. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty fucking cursed. Some of our prisoners are starting to heal up. We might as well start recruiting some of them. We could always leave some of them just in the prison as well. Just as prisoners eventually. Deadshot Pessimist Jogger. Ooh. Alright, fine. You're hired. Uh, was it was it you again? How did I enable those tags before? That was pretty fantastic. There we are. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you're definitely getting hired. Great memory is also really good. And I quite like the foreman trait as well. We can turn him to, up to be a decent builder. He's already got nine construction. Work and recruit. Work and recruit. Undergrounder, fisherman, neurotic, straight. Neurotic, fisherman, fantastic combination. Work and recruit. What about you? Depressive, nude, to stay sexual. You can stay in prison. <laughs> what sort of work speed bonuses are we looking like then with the full kitchen? Uh, work speed. Work speed. 164%. Wow. Uh, I assume we can't build any more than one set of cooking tools. No, we can't. Okay, fair enough. What about uh, more than one cupboard? Nope, still not. Kitchen sink is hooked up. That just increases cleanliness from what I recall. Oh, is that the other one? That's the one from the actual... Right, got it. That works with the hygiene mod, but the one from the actual hygiene mod adds hygiene to a room, which we don't have quite yet. We need to get... It's the same research as plumbing that'll affect that. Okay, cool. Now, this can also be affected by uh, kitchen cabinets, but given that it's an electric butcher table, it's already faster by default. So, I'm not going to worry too much about that one. What unlocks toilets, then? Modern bathroom fixtures, perhaps? That gives us a... There it is, kitchen sink. That's what we're after. What about some extra recreation, too? Uh, we do have enough for, I imagine, a lot of this stuff. Right, we'll put down a... Put down a billiards table. We can put down a nice dice table over here. God knows if they need to stand up at that or not. Put a poker table. Is that going to be in the way of... We'll be in the way of the hoopstone ring. We can move the hoopstone ring outdoors. That way they can also fulfill outdoor recreation as well. That's fine. Um, we've got archery targets. Oh, those are cool. But you need a bow for those shooting targets, what we're after. Those allow you to train your shooting skill. Oh, but of course that will count as... Fuck. That'll, that'll count as uh, interrupting the glory of nature by apparently glowing a target. Who'd have thought? Okay. Um, we'll put that close to the front door then so they're not wasting too much time running to points of recreation. Maybe not adjacent to the windmill so directly. So they're going to shoot from there. I mean, that's fine. We'll put one there and then one a couple of blocks over. Maybe maybe having it directly in front of the front door is a bad idea in hindsight because of course people are going to be probably walking between that, but that's all right. Uh, a little bit more steel, then, is what's on the menu. Oh, shit. Well, never mind. I forgot I I'd got these two to stay up all night mining. I'll go ahead and let them have a bit of time off, then. My bad. Maybe this is fate. Maybe I should just let these anime creatures die. Because this is, uh... Plague Miner. <laughs> Honestly, that is the funniest thing I've ever seen. People... I, I think probably one of the reasons people are disliking this series is because they assume that I'm very much into anime and love this, but there is nothing more satisfying to me than seeing... Aoi, or maybe, oh shit, I never considered the opposite perspective, that this is someone's waifu and I'm laughing at the fact that it's dying of the plague. <laughs> Shooting star. Oh, cool. Uh, oh, interesting, okay. It wouldn't take us too long to get over then, obviously at this point in the game we've got no defences. Maybe not, huh? I think I'm also going to cut down on some of the harvest. How much are we looking in terms of bamboo? 2,590. I think we'll say this zone is had its last day, so no more sewing on that one. Um, heal root is fine, this is fine, this is fine. Obviously, they're bringing a nice variety of resources. Uh, the cloth as well, I'm going to say no more sewing on that one. 
I might even swap them out for something else. Just, just maybe we'll have one season of something else to, to freshen things up. We could throw in some tasty plump helmets. Um, what have you got for me? Sugar cane? I know that's used a lot in the uh, VGP. Coffee. Coffee. That gave work speed but lowered... They, they kept getting caffeine addiction or something like that, but... Sorry? Oh, shooting targets. Right, sorry. I thought it was related to the shooting star then for a second. Now, I know coffee can give caffeine addiction because we saw that last time. Uh, but caffeine addiction didn't really affect much. And as long as you keep it stocked up, they're not too bothered. We've got no problem growing resources here. Not at all. Even though we kind of... Fucking hell. What are you doing? Brains. <laughs> wow. Say goodnight, anime. I am the, I am the savior. Okay. Um, I, I mean, if you're up for training your shooting skill, that's fine, mate. That does actually train there. Oh, it actually does. I thought it did, but I just wanted to double track. That's quite cool. Like a man hunting donkey have entered the area. Oh, okay. No, I don't care about where they are. Um, oh my god, that's actually quite a lot. <laughs> 15? Uh, okay, yeah. You know, that seems a bit more reasonable difficulty rather than a dude again turning up in armor with 150,000 hit points. We've just got to fight a whole herd of angry donkeys. Get into position. We have automatic weaponry. Last time I checked, it's not easy for donkeys to operate automatic weaponry. Um, although, we might just want to hide indoors. So they've got this thing called Scaria now. Um, or Scaria, however you want to say it. Uh, disease which causes affected creatures to enter berserk rages. A creature with Scaria can be cured through a special medical operation but must be downed first. If not created, it kills the host about five days after infection. So that way you can't just hide indoors from man-eater packs. The disease poisons the flesh and rots the skin so the creature killed will not- Well, has a chance of rotting on death so they can't be butchered for meat or leather. This, I feel, is, is a balancing thing that was added almost exactly in response to the previous series, where we had a fucking mountain of meat from the amount of manhunter packs that actually turned up, and... and, uh, ended up feeding the entire colony single-handed. So, and also, you know, you can't just hide from manhunters now overnight. We will have to pick them apart. We could do this a couple of ways. Uh, we've only currently got one main entrance, but actually, no, we do have two. So here's what I'm thinking. We'll fight them the same way we fought the insects, because unfortunately, by the time everyone's gotten here... They're going to be they're gonna be on us anyway. So the plan is, very, very simple. We're going to hide in the house. We're gonna No, no, no. We're going to hide in the house. Did you not hear me? We're going to hide in the house. We're going to send one person over to this door. That will probably be... Uh, we'll send Horn over to this one. And we'll keep fingers on this one. And then we'll put... We'll give him a couple of reinforcements on each side. Now what I'm going to do is send Horn to open that door. Lure the donkeys over there. Shoot a couple. Send fingers out to shoot a couple this side. And then rinse and repeat. And then hopefully, if they don't smash the door down... Oh, no. Okay, they're gone. Then we're good. Um, then hopefully we'll be able to pick them off in thinner numbers that will count for nothing. I genuinely thought it was a mad donkey then. Turns out it's an alpaca. There we are. There we are. Okay, get it. One more shot. Now back off. 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 That donkey seems to be... Oh, they smashed the door down. Uh, you fool. You absolute fool. They're manhunters, though. So I don't think they'll attack our... They're not attacking the animals. They're just providing us a nice little bit of cover. Oh, no, they are attacking the animals, definitely. Well, you know what? At the end of the day, I would much rather have Rabbit, Beast, Ear, Hannah, One take damage rather than my man, uh, Fingers. So, let's take it slowly. And again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep using this tactic where we bait some over to certain doors. See, if we pop him out now, we can get a couple more shots on this one. Probably kill him in no time. Let's focus fire a little bit, too. That would help. Come on. Can we get that one? Get that one. Retreat in. You know, if one donkey follows us in, that's fine. That's one donkey that we've got to deal with single-handedly. That shouldn't be an issue. And if our people can't fight a single donkey, we've got bigger concerns. Three donkeys, four don- They're Why? What? <laughs> it's fine. I'm just a little bit annoyed that these doors don't shut very fucking fast. Um, haul ass, haul ass. There's no way it's going to follow us through two doors, right? Horn, please move faster. Yeah, there we go. That's what we're after right there. Okay, we've kind of done what I wanted to do, but from the opposite perspective, and that we've let the donkeys down here. Uh, this is what I wanted to do, but up here instead. So it's it's kind of gone the wrong way around, but it still works fine. There we are. So now we'll fight them one at a time, where they're not really going to do such a huge amount of damage. Although they seem to be all trapped in our storeroom now, which is not quite as helpful. Oh, we've got a couple left with me. Okay, that's not bad. That's fine. Stop eating the meals. You fucking little chip. You can get out of here. Oh, I took them out of the freezer, but of course I didn't actually stop them... Eating the meal straight out of the freezer, which I forgot about. Hang on a second. Right, let's go ahead and... No, no, no. You're not allowed anywhere near the freezer. Right, now maybe... Oh, they walked through another door? How did you do that? Door locked. Uh, sir. That is not locked. That is not locked. Well, on the plus side, now we can take a position up in the kitchen this side and shoot them as they come through here, one at a time. If we say don't hold that one open, as the first donkey comes through, it should shut. 
Or you could just wreck our dining room table. That's fine as well. There we are. A little bit too late, but that's all right. We should be fine. I will admit that didn't go too well. That didn't go too well at all. But 17 donkeys was not really what I was hoping for at this stage of the game. Switch over to your melee weapon, you fool. Okay. How are we looking? Couple of injured donkeys. I don't know that we're going to be fine in hindsight. This, this could be a lot less than fine. So, okay. We're good. Strong arm. We're fine. Okay. Poor, poor brains and horn got knocked down, but it shouldn't be anything lethal. I imagine they're not bleeding out or anything. No, they can... Eight bruises. That's fine. And what about brains? Brains is fine, but now in 12 hours, what have you lost? A toe and a finger. Again, I'll take that as a... That's a fair trade. For anyone, I, I specifically started with weapons that were pretty crap, I will admit. But that was to not start off with some really crazy stuff. Because as you've seen in this mod pack, there are some really crazy stuff. And I didn't quite know what was reasonable or what wasn't, short of testing every weapon in the game. So I went for whatever they started with by default... And then a couple of extra sort of base game battle rifles to make up for it. There we go. We actually got a good amount of meat out of that, though, regardless. Brilliant. Solar flare. What's the temperature outside? 25. Unfortunately, my little vent strategy is certainly not going to work right now. How many meals have we got in storage? 32. How do these freezers work? Refrigerated. Yeah, but what is the temperature of those... Uh, I suppose in 10 days. Oh, look. They are slowly getting warmer. I was going to say, how exactly do they... Oh, it's got a current temperature. Oh, cool. All right. That makes a lot of sense. And we're back on. Good shit. So how many donkeys do we actually get out of that then? Uh, looks like we've got... One, two, three, four, five. That's... Five or maybe slightly more. Was that lightning then? Oh, fantastic. A flash storm. Oh, my favorite. We didn't really get much progress done on rebuilding the base out of stone either, unfortunately. To be fair, though... We did get a lot of other stuff down, like a full electricity grid, air con an air-conditioned base. We've never done that before in RimWorld, so I consider this an absolute success. Uh, what? Colonist the Horn has gained the trait Natural Genius. What is that? Natural Genius. Uh... Wow, learning factor, 50% bonus to that, 20% psychic sensitivity, 20% extra heat limit, I don't know why, uh, and 20% Breton to break threshold. Wow. That's, that's really good. Holy shit. And that's exactly why, right there, why I wanted to leave them with no traits. So that over time, as they're, depending on how the colony went, their traits would be a reflection of that. I think that's kind of cool. I do need to build you another, you another bedroom there. Let's get that corpse out of there. One of our, one of our prisoners died. I think it was malnutrition? Malnutrition. Don't know why. I guess they weren't delivered. Probably where we had everyone drafted up for the best part of a day there. You know what? I'm pretty happy with today. It, it, it's it's gone a little bit strangely, but we've managed to get a lot more infrastructure done in, in a pretty small period of time. Obviously, the, the full kitchen upgrade is very, very nice. We've wrestled our way through a couple of raids there. The, that other one was absurd. I'm, I might... Why don't I use that storyteller again? <laughs> I honestly thought for a second, like, this is going to provide a really good challenge, but there's a very big difference between... Maybe inherently. I should also point out, it's probably not a fault of the storyteller so much that it's a fault of... Maybe the Storyteller in combination with the other mods it's quite clearly not intended for. Because that Storyteller comes with the Oni mod. And I feel like those two in combination are really not anticipated. Anyway, thank you all for watching. A big thank you goes out to the insane top tier level patrons for making the series possible in the first place. Bear in mind that the Patreon, it, it is the first of the month. So the Patreon list won't be available until potentially the end of tomorrow. So a big thank you in the meantime to our regular chronological patrons. And those are... Huey Longdong, Emerald Ghost 11, Harik, Bubka, Crow Skull, The Potato Eater, Jackson Woman, Silkworm, Alchemia, Leo, Scary, Scurvy, Aromatic Fool, Sweetie, and Vacuous Backers, along with everyone else at the insane top tier levels on Patreon for supporting the channel to that extent. Big thank you to you guys for making that possible. And a thank you as well to Genji Zerka, Demon X Jester, William H, Mason Fireblast, Ranmir, Gabriel Van Ders, Lampy, Kane GB, Smooth Octopus, Valkyrie, Icy the Great, Mythomatic, Anchor, and the other patrons as well for making the channel possible in the first place.